Bye. Okay, so before I get into the video, I just want to mention two things. First of all, ignore this huge red rash that I've got all over my chest. I had a shower and I don't know what happened, but I've just come out in like a horrendous red rash. So there that is and just ignore it if you can. Second of all, I may as well be on the surface of the sun. It is so hot in here. So I've got the window open because if I don't, I actually think that I might suffocate and die. There might be a few noises, birds, planes, you know, the stuff that is outside. You might hear some of that in this video, but again, ignore it if you can. Okay, so I've never done a video like this before and I actually got inspiration for it from my friend Chrissy. Her channel is Chrissy Grotez and she did an eBay finds video where she just showed on camera the bargains that she found on eBay so I thought that I would do the same thing. So I did a bit of shopping on eBay and everything in this video is under five pounds and I picked things that are like beauty related, makeup related and random things as well and everything I picked is something that I was kind of surprised that it was five pounds and I think it's quite good value for money. So hopefully this will be helpful for some of you if you are into that kind of thing, grabbing a bargain. I mean, who isn't? Okay, so the first two things I'm gonna show are belly bars or belly rings, whatever you wanna call them. Okay, so the first one is just this one and it's just got like fake gems on it um, on the bottom bit and the top bit. They're just like two balls. So when you put it in, it just looks quite nice and simple and I wear these ones every day and this was one pound and four p and I feel like it's really hard to get belly button rings anywhere near that price anywhere else like in a shop or something and I love the way that these ones look so yeah I always get my belly bars off eBay I actually get all my jewelry off eBay because I don't have very sensitive like piercings or like skin so I'm okay with just like cheap metal but if you're not then I wouldn't do that and <laughs> I would invest in some like sterling silver or something. And the next belly bar that I got was just this one which I thought was really cute. It's just a normal belly bar and then it's got like a dream catcher hanging from it with some feathers which I love because I love dream catchers and stuff like that so love this one and again really cheap this was £1.5p so for one extra penny you get a whole dream catcher. Even though that the majority of jewellery that you'll find on eBay that's that cheap isn't the best quality you can still find good quality jewellery so I also get my earrings from there and I picked up these ones these are just teeny tiny studs they're two millimeters I love really really small studs to wear like up my ear and like halfway up my ear because I just think they look a lot nicer than like bigger earrings so I got these and these are actually sterling silver so really good quality and they were only two pounds fifteen for two so again absolute bargain. Okay so the next things that I found were these and these are the Lime Crime Velveteens liquid lipstick. So the colours that I got were bleached and shroom. This one is bleached and it's kind of like a dark nudie browny pink. You'll find that I'm really bad at explaining colours the more you watch me. And then you have shroom which is just a much darker brown colour so I will swatch those in a sec but I want to swatch it alongside something else that I have so bear with and I wasn't sure if I would like these because I've never tried them before but I'm actually wearing bleached now and I absolutely love it and it stays on so well but these were 4 99 each so not like crazy cheap but still like way cheaper than they are on the website so if you are looking for some of these then eBay is a really good place to get them I also picked up this which is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Milan and it is just like a really nice kind of fuchsia pink colour. I was really excited to try this because I've only heard good things about the NYX matte lip creams but I have to say that once I tried it I was kind of really underwhelmed because to me like a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick should stay on your lips better but this kind of came straight off whenever I rubbed it so it's not like really long lasting or anything and for that reason it's not really that matte. I like my matte lipsticks completely matte so this isn't as drying as most matte lipsticks I guess but at the same time it's not really that matte and it comes off so easily so I wasn't really that impressed with this but if you know that you like the NYX soft matte lip creams then eBay is a really good place to get them because they're only £4.75. So what I'm going to do now is swatch this alongside the Lime Crime liquid lipsticks and show you just like how easily this one comes off in comparison and how it's not really matte. Okay, so there they are. This one is the NYX in Milan. This one is the Lime Crime in Bleached and this is also Lime Crime in Shroom. So I'm going to leave those to dry and then I'll show you what I mean by how they last and the way they look when they're matte. So yeah, bear with me while this dries. 
So I'm just going to press my finger down pretty hard and just swipe upwards so you can see. Like I am pushing so hard. <laughs> like this one just literally slipped up off the next one. If I rub these ones like they don't come off at all but this one like just comes straight off. I just don't like it. Like I don't like that in a matte liquid lipstick. Look, it's gone. It's gone. The next thing I have is this highlighter brush and I've been on the lookout for one of these for so long but I can never seem to see one in like super drug or boots. Not one that's like actually affordable anyway for me. I hate spending money on makeup brushes for some reason. I just feel like I can get them so much cheaper like elsewhere and the really expensive like brands of makeup brushes don't really need to be that expensive so I don't like spending a lot of money on them. This was 2 dollars which I was totally okay with paying for and it's just like a fan highlight brush so you obviously put it in your highlight and you dust it on your cheeks like that um i haven't actually used this yet but i will let you know if i like it it seems completely fine like bristles don't like come out when you pull them which is the case with some cheap makeup brushes um and it feels nice and soft so i think i will like this one of the things that i always always get on ebay are fake eyelashes so i picked up these two different kinds i got the ardell individual lashes i mostly wear individuals just because i like the way they look better they look a lot more natural and a lot more like wispy i guess and these were 2.95 and in the shops they're like over five pounds i think so if you are gonna get some eyelashes and you know what brand you want like Isla or Ardell or whatever. Have a look on eBay before you buy them from a shop because they're most likely going to be like less than half the price. So I got those and I also got these which are really similar to the Red Cherry Wispy Lashes. And these were £2.19 and I love the way that these look. They're really, like I said, wispy and just like fluttery and I love them. So I think these are going to look really good on. The next thing that I got was this W7 Kiss Me Plumping Gloss. Okay, so a little bit of a story time. I have got this lip plumping gloss which is the best plumping gloss I've ever used and it really really works like it visibly makes my lips look bigger. It's by Dirty Works, I think it was £4 and it was from Sainsbury's but I can't find it anywhere anymore. I've had this for like three years and it's still going strong, I use it all the time. Like this is one of my favourite makeup products ever. It smells like chocolate orange and you can actually feel it working on your lips. Maybe they took it off because of an ingredient in there that was, I don't know, dangerous or something, but it actually worked, so I don't even know, but it's not on the shelves anymore. Dirty Works do do their range still, but I just can't find this anywhere, but I can't throw it away because it's so, so good and I can't find it anywhere. So I've been forever looking for a replacement for this when it runs out, which will be like the worst day. So first of all, if you know where I can find more of this, please please let me know so that I can stock up on it because it's actually incredible. So I have this one in the hopes that it will be just as good if not better but I really doubt it because this one is amazing but I'll get back to you on what I think but it was £2.95 from eBay so still really cheap for a lip plumping gloss. Next up I've got some more makeup brushes. So all of these brushes were only £4.99 and they look incredible, they're rose gold. They do look quite similar to the Real Techniques Bold Metallics collection. Um, but these ones are all rose gold and they've got a little bit of pink in the brush as well. I just thought that these were so pretty and you got a really good range of brushes in there and they would look really nice like in a little jar next to your bed. They're quite decorative for brushes. I obviously haven't used them yet but they all come individually wrapped in a little piece of plastic and I don't know, I just think they look really nice. And for £4.99, like, if you are looking for some cheap brushes, these might be the ones. I'm going to do the pull out test. Oh my god, I'm actually surprised. Nothing is coming out. Oh my god, this might be the best thing I've ever found. You can thank me later. I also got one of my trusty LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. This one is in the colour Classic Ivory. I do normally use natural, but I've gone so pale recently that <laughs> I needed like a lighter one to highlight and stuff. So this is Classic Ivory. I love this concealer so much. I've been using it for like two years. It's my go-to concealer. It's £2.98 on eBay. They've got loads of different colours for loads of different skin tones as well. Loads of really good YouTubers love it, like ShanXO swears by it and I can confirm that it is really really good. The last beauty thing that I have is a big one. This is the La Roque Beginners Collection eyeshadow palette. Ta-da! This has 88 different eyeshadow colours. Oh and it only cost me £4.99 and you also get these two brushes and a big old mirror in there as well and I just loved all the different shades in there like 
you get a really good range of like neutral tones. Okay, so I've just swatched them on my hand and they actually turned out way better than I thought they would. I thought for five pounds this wouldn't be very good quality, but these two came out really pigmented. This one isn't as great, but you know, still pretty good. So again, if you're looking to build your makeup collection and get more of a range of colors or something, but you don't have the money to get, you know, MAC eyeshadows, this could be your starting point. The last three things I have aren't really beauty related, but I'm gonna include them anyway. So here I have a watch, and I'm not really a massive watch wearer, but when I saw this, I really, really wanted it because I thought it was so cool. This is a skeleton watch, I think it's called, and it's basically just where you can see like all the mechanics inside the watch, and it's just got a normal kind of faux leather strap. I think this was about £3.50, so I had to get it because I just thought it was too cool not to get. Even though I don't really wear watches, I always forget to put them on and I find them kind of uncomfortable when I do wear them. But I love this, so I thought I'd be able to just like style it into an outfit. And £3.50, like, you know, I didn't lose out on anything. The last two things I have are phone cases, and this is the first one. It's just like a marble effect um, plastic skin one. Just goes over the edge of your phone, obviously. But this was 99p, so I think this is the cheapest thing that I have in the whole video. And I had this on my phone for a really long time and it worked really well. So if you're just looking for like a really simple phone case, like a sleeve, rather than something that's really like hard wearing and that will save your phone if you drop it or something, this probably won't do that, but it looks quite nice. So <laughs> if you are looking for like a decorative phone case, eBay is the place and they do so many different styles for so many different like sized phones and stuff so I always get my phone cases from eBay. I've saved my personal fave until last and it's another phone case but look at this it's got a freaking husky on it like this is so cute like I cannot deal with this it's a little cartoon husky and is eating some food out of his bowl and it says Siberian husky in really small writing underneath and I'm gonna put this on my phone right now because I've been waiting to do it ever since I got the parcel. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed with this. Best phone case ever. And this was only £1.49, which I think is the best £1.49 I've ever spent in my whole life. I love this so much. They also have loads of different dogs. So if Huskies aren't your thing and you prefer pugs or chihuahuas or like French Bulldogs, they had all of those, I think. So yeah, go for it. So if you are a fellow dog lover and you want a cheap phone case with a dog on it, I think these are the best ones out there. Okay, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and I will make sure to do another one similar to this in the future. If you've ever found a really good bargain on eBay, then let me know in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for ways to save a little bit of money. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.